With a lackluster win against Bradley three days before Christmas. One by just one, Jeremiah Tillman won it for Missouri at the buzzer. Tennessee coming off of a 20-point win. There's Viscovi, Santiago Viscovi starts off with a three. A very balanced Tennessee team, Missouri willing to run. And Abel and Drew bring a pair of five stars off the bench. Active hands early by this uh, Tennessee team caused the first turnover and they get an open bucket. Missouri and again, one of the better defensive teams, Schofield, etc. because I think their quickness is better. He looked at me and he said, well, I sure hope we're that good. It's early. He thought this matchup tonight would give them a better. Here's Pinson. No screen for him, working on Bailey. Xavier Pinson takes it to the rim. And an early foul on Victor Bailey Jr. Guys, if they post either one up early against a smaller defensive team of Missouri, their guards aren't as tall as these two freshman guards. And what is remarkable about this Tennessee team, even the five star guys, is that every one they played the Colorado game, they played often and they played well. Gonzo's gone deep in his bench. Drew Bugs and Parker Brown both on the floor. And Xavier Pinchon's got to learn where the best shot is for this team and decision making coming off those screens. Now Tennessee's very comfortable every possession. First miss came out of Anna Sicky miss. Parker Brown challenging, challenging again. Can score offensively for the balls that make them so effective. They've got good shooters outside, strong guys inside. This guy, one of the best shooters in the country. Ten games, he averaged 18 points a game. Good enough to put him on the second team of the SEC, all SEC conference. And Missouri's got to find a bucket, Tom, but they've had not very good looks. Good drive that time. Game English, who used to coach out of Colorado, Tad Boyle, they got that game started. But yeah, finding teams to play before conference starts. Getting you ready. Barnes took the opportunity to come all the way out near midcourt to instruct his guys. Fulkerson with the shot clock lighting down and he drills it. Get a bucket here or there, but it's not natural. Doesn't shoot that much outside. Tillman running the floor. Good wow. body control by the big guy. Hans will rise. Three and a half miles away from the arena. I did I did see both teams today. I went over. It's rare for us to get to see teams nowadays when we work out of our They would like him to shoot a little more. Hans has forced a couple shots up last two possessions. Drew Smith and Mark Smith have combined to go one for seven in this game. Here's Mitchell Smith. Tough to figure, especially with Viscovi in front of him. And now Viscovi bangs one in against him. Viscovi from the elbow. But if he adds the ability to shoot because he can shoot it, then they are a much more dangerous team on the offensive end. Hans gets whistled for goaltending. A yeah, good point, Tom. I mean, you get the conference play. You'd hate to say possession to possession at different times of the game, but they can all be important. Doing what he does, now another a steal by the Vols. Pons finds a streaking Fulkerson and stick jams at home. In the same neighborhood. Bugs, lob, Tillman plays it in. Kevin, it'd be entertaining. Well, not for Tony Green, it would be. Nice tip in. Not scoring, but he's very capable. He's going to have a terrific career in a ball uniform. Oh, gosh. Air Pons at it again. This is good. Uh, we saw that against Illinois. Uh, the tape against Oregon. Uh, Wichita. It's hard to see in college basketball this season who really gets it, as a matter of fact. I think they can be in a conversation below Gonzaga and Baylor. I think those two teams, great pass, great finish. I think they're probably the best bet, but they are powerful, and they're strong. They're good. Their guards are terrific. Uh, they've got a, uh, and you know what, Gonzaga, like they are every year, they're experienced. They get a lot of transfers, get a lot of guys in and around, and then they've got a fabulous freshman son. Almost twice as many turnovers as made 
field goals for Missouri. Here's Springer. Front points watching on the floor now for Missouri. Corner shot. That's where they want him. And it skips off the rim. Frank Martin's team one and two. They go out of conference this weekend. Torrance Watson waiting in the corner. Won't get a chance. It's Mark Smith off the window and a chance for a three-point play. It's a good opportunity for Torrance Watson to show what he can do for Conzo Martin. He's found playing time hard to come by this season. Tillman in the paint. 11. If they played like they did today, tonight against Georgia, and the guard D.J. Stewart and Iverson Molinar scored the ball, what teams were good? I, I just think there's going to be a whole new shift in whether it's rankings, whether it's uh, fans. And it has ties to the late 80s Seattle Super Tears will go to 7 and 0 on the season. Offensive board, but what they did to Cincinnati when I watched that game, I thought like and they did everything right tonight. They shot 50% from the floor. They held Missouri to just 36% shooting. And the first road trip for Rick Barnes this season, a success.